Hey everybody, it's Mark, Killer Gravel Mark, back here again with y'all, and, excuse me, I gotta straighten up the camera, um, this video is gonna be about basically requirements um, to travel to the Philippines, and based more. it's gonna be more specifically about uh, the 9A visa, um, for all of you that qualify for the 9A visa. I'm not going to talk about the 9G or the 9, any of the other, this is just going to be specifically the 9A visa, all right? Which the 9A visa is the visa that you would need to get if you live in a visa-free country, which the United States is one of them, there's a lot of them, um, <clears throat> and you are either married to a Filipino citizen or you um, are if you're married to a Filipino citizen right if you're a guy and you're married to a Filipina or you're a female and you're married to a Filipino and you want to travel home to the Philippines you're not a Filipino citizen this is the visa that you would need in order to travel to the Philippines. And this video is gonna be about the requirements to get that visa. Um, the things that you're gonna need, all right? Um, one, obviously you're gonna to need to fill out the application. And let me tell you something about the application that isn't obvious on the application. They don't tell you on the Consulate General, the Philippine Consulate General website, um, they don't tell you that that application needs to be notarized prior to you sending it to them. And you can't hand carry it into the, uh, the, the Consulate General. Um, my, my, the Consulate General office that I um, had to do all this through is the uh, Philippine Consulate General office in um, San Francisco because I, I live very close to San Francisco, okay, California. And uh, I'm actually in my quarantine hotel right now, uh, day seven. I actually got my swab test this morning, um, and, and that'll be another video. Um, the swab test, okay? Anyway, what to expect. That'll be the, I, I might do that as the next video. Um, we'll see. Anyway, so back to the application. It, I literally filled out the application. I had all the requirements, which I'm gonna talk about, and I overnighted it to the Philippine Consulate General in San Francisco, and promptly the following day, no, not the next day, the day after that, okay, um, because I waited until I think it was the 29th of July to actually send it because um, they weren't stamping it with the, um, the, the there, there was a stamp that's required to be, I'll show you the visa real quick, like, um, it's, it's right here, they actually put it in your passport, and it has to be stamped EED not required per IATF Resolution 128, right? Well, they weren't going to start putting that stamp until August 1st. And if you had previously gotten a 9A visa before, you would have to request a new one with that stamp on it because it has to have that stamp on it in order for you to be granted entry. Okay, into the Philippines. All right, so I literally sent it overnight um, on the 29th of July. They received it, and on the 1st of August, I, no, on the 2nd of August, I received an email from the Consulate General, thank you, Philippine Consulate General, um, informing me that it needed to be notarized. And I'm like, oh, heck. So, and I mean, this, I literally got home from work, got this, read this email when I got home from work, 
at whatever, I don't know, I think it was 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and I quickly printed another, I had the application saved on my desktop on my computer, it still is right now, and I quickly printed another one out, grabbed it, shut my butt down to the UPS store, got it notarized, and overnighted it to back to the Consulate General. And thankfully, everything went through. I actually got my um, 9A visa um, the following day. I believe it was the 3rd of August. I had it. It was in my mailbox. I got it, and I was just... I'll go over that real quick in just a little bit. But first, let's talk about the requirements, because you need several requirements okay if you're married to a filipino say you're a guy and you're married to a filipino citizen and she is in the philippines the first thing you're going to need is from your filipina is this right here which is a certificate of residency so she has to go down to the barangay and she has to show proof to the barangay that she is a resident and is currently living in that barangay all right um it's it costs 30 pesos it's what it cost you know my wife uh my sawa it cost her 30 pesos so she went into uh into into santa lucia and to the barangay and she got this certificate of residency all right the other thing that you're going to need is what's called an apostle of marriage, okay? This right here is an apostle, all right? It's basically the Philippines way of saying, hey, this is authentic, right? So your, your wife or your husband, whatever it may be, um, has to go to the Philippine Embassy in Manila. Now, I believe there's one in Cebu as well. I don't know if they do these, but my wife had to travel. She had to fly to Manila. And we went ahead and we got her Apostle birth certificate and Certificate of marriage. Here they are, both of them. That's this is what they are. This is what they look like. You have to have the originals with this with with the stamp. It has to be the originals. You have to have the originals. You know they'll have their marriage certificate here, right? And and it is it is a basically a certified copy with a stamp right on it and everything and and then the apostle which it's basically they're just putting their stamp and saying this is true and accurate okay and it, it can only be done at the philippine embassy that's it so my wife she had to fly to the philippine to manila uh make an appointment first make an appointment first fly to manila um get these two apostles it took three days Right, she went. We had, she was actually there for seven days, and that was only because of flight scheduling and whatnot. Um, anyway, it took three days from the time that she went to the embassy, turned all this all this documentation into them. Three days later, she finally received them back. It takes three days, so you know, book a hotel for. I would say four days. In case it takes an extra day, fly your your significant other, your your spouse, to Manila. Make sure she has all the freaking required documents, which you know, of course, is going to be marriage certificate. Your marriage, you know, it's going to be basically a certified marriage certificate from the barangay where you got married, which wasn't a problem for us. It was really easy to get. Um, so she so apostles right so you got to have those now this takes a minute because you have to have the originals all right shipping from the philippines to the united states um it could take anywhere from four or five days to a month 
all right? Uh, Filipino time. And, and, and you Filipinos, Filipinas will understand completely. You, 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 you Westerners that are married to a Filipina or a Filipino will know what I mean by Filipino time. You might take it down to the mailing place, the post office, or whatever it is, LBC, whatever, however you ship these, and it might sit there for f three or four days before they actually send it off. I mean, or they might do it the same day. It's, it's, you just don't know. It's Filipino time. It is what it is, right? So, I'll tell you this right away. Um... It took about two weeks for me to receive these, and she did it the most expensive, fastest way you could do it, okay? Weird is the next thing that we got that she accomplished was um, the certificate of residency, all right? As well as the certificate of residency, your spouse has to write a letter. All right, has to write a letter. Um, basically inviting you to the Philippines and giving reason why. Okay, and it's not super, it, you can go online, you can, you, you, you can get templates for these letters. Um, it's not that big a deal. But she has, your spouse, she or he, has to write a letter inviting you there. All right. Um, the other thing you're going to need is um, your itinerary. Right now, these are all the things that you have to send to the Consulate General to get your 90 visa. You have to have your itinerary of your flight. It, you don't necessarily have to have purchased the flight, but you have to have the itinerary, meaning you're going to take this flight at this time on this date, and you're going to return on this time on this flight on this date, going to and coming back. They want to know when. You have to have um, this, a booking, right? You have to show that you have pre-booked a hotel, right? Um, and so, all right, so we got to have the apostle of marriage, right? We've got to have the, the, uh, the residency letter from the barangay saying, yes, she in fact lives there. All right, you've got to have the letter, okay? Um, the application. You also need to show proof of financial responsibility, all right? I literally sent them, I work full time, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a natural gas operations instructor, okay? And that's what I do, all right? I, I, train and qualify people to work on natural gas systems okay i work full-time i have a regular full-time job i'm 61 years old i've been doing this over 20 years i mean so basically there's not a problem so basically i sent them three months worth of my bank statements showing that i have sufficient amount of funds to you know, support myself while I'm in the Philippines. I sent them check stuff, showing them how much money I made every every month. Okay. Um, I sent them um, a credit card statement for a credit card that I have that I can use in case I run out of cash, which I'm not going to happen. But in case I run out of money, I have a credit card to fall back on. So I sent them all. <sighs> Showing them, yes, I am 100% financial. They don't ask for all of these things. They give you a list of these are the kind of things that, you know, blah, blah, blah. I said, screw it. I sent them all of them. I didn't want there to be any hiccups, right? And then the last thing you need to do, and this was the thing, the last thing you need to send them, and this is the thing that I, I was the most concerned about, is you've got to send your actual passport, and I was like, wow. Oh, and just so you know, all of the things that you send them, you need to send the originals and photocopies. So you've got to take a photocopy of, you know, your information page. 
right? Your information page on your passport, you know, obviously it's the one that has your, the page that has your picture on it, okay? And your name, your, you know, all that stuff, when it was issued, when it expires, that's the information page. You have to take a photocopy of that page. And then you have to actually send the original. And I had a lot of angst about sending this through the mail to San Francisco. But after I received my stuff back in the mail and I saw this page right here, which is my actual visa, they stick it in your page just like bump, just like when they stamp your visa when you go in and out of a country. I have quite a few stamps here, but I mean, they put a, they put the, it's a whole page that covers it. That's your 9A visa. And then I understood once I received it back that that's why they need you to send your passport. And I was scared to death that they would, it would get lost in the mail, either going to or back or whatever. You have to send the originals of everything and copies of those, right? So you get all of that stuff together. You put it in an envelope. Then you include inside that envelope a return, postage pay return envelope, all right? Because they're going to do their thing, and then they're going to send you back your originals and your passport with your 9A visa in it. And that's what it, exactly what happens. And I, I, I paid the money. I don't care. I paid for overnight service coming back because I didn't know. My flight was scheduled for August 13th, all right? August 13th. I, I sent it in on July 29th. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Philippine Consul General there in San Francisco. I received it on the 3rd. It only took three days. And that's even with me having to resend the application with the notar notarization on it. So don't worry about it taking too long. It's very quick. I don't know about the, the, the consulate general in your particular location, but the San Francisco um, office of the Philippine consulate general are efficient and they are on it. I mean, they're on it. They're great. They're awesome. So that is what you need to do. All right. Um, understand. Your spouse is going to have to go get all of this stuff, all right, and they're going to have to send it to you. Once they send it to you, then you can complete all the rest of the requirements that you have and then ship it off to the Consulate General um, and then get it back. And, and as long as you answer everything honestly and correctly, and you give them all the information that you need, and you fall into the category where you qualify for a 9A visa, then you'll get your 9A visa, okay? Um, one thing is actually on the website, it gives you, I think, four different options on how you can start, you can do a 30-day one-time entry, you know, which literally just gives you, it's a 59-day visa, it gives you, one entry into the Philippines and one exit, meaning that's it. Once that, that's it, it's done. Okay. Then they have different levels. I mean, there's like a, 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 a freaking six month, a one year that the one year is 90 bucks. It gives you unlimited entry for one year. They aren't doing that right now. The only one they're doing, I sent the $90 to get the one year. Well, they sent me back. $60 in cash and I got the 30 day because as I found out which they they do mention it on their website kinda basically they do yeah um, but I, I they shouldn't I don't know I, whatever I, it was my mistake but they gave me back the 60 bucks and I got the visa the $30 one $30 is cheap okay but anyway if you have any questions um, about the process, psh, drop them down in the comments, drop them down in the comments. Um, 
uh, make sure you hit that like button if this information was helpful in any way shape or form please give me a like um smash that that uh that 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 subscribe button and make sure that the notifications are on i'm going to be doing quite a few more videos um about this whole thing i mean i think that the next video i'm probably going to do will probably be hey these are the things you need to bring with you if you're coming to the Philippines. This will be great information for you folks that have never been here before. All right. I know, I don't know how this works, but apparently you can actually get married to a Filipina or a Filipino online without ever meeting them. I don't know how that would work. Um, but hey, if that's what you did, that's what you did. And obviously you've not been to the Philippines. Well, I'm going to make a video detailing all the things you need to bring with you, all right? Um, and believe me, it's an extensive list. I've traveled back and forth to the Philippines a lot over the years, a lot, okay? Um, I have learned. <laughs> I learned by making mistakes and forgetting stuff and not bringing stuff that I... And I would make lists, hey, next time I come, I'm going to bring this. Next time I come, I'm going to make sure to bring this. And it's a pretty good list, all right? So that's going to be the next video. This video is getting kind of long. It's 20, oh, 21 minutes so far. Um, and then after that, um, I'll, I'm sure I'll probably upload at some point in time the video of um, my, my, my swab, all right? Uh, I'll do that. Um, I'm going to be uploading a video review of this hotel that I'm staying in, which is the Red Planet Amersolo in Makati, Manila. Um, I'll be uploading that, and then I'll be uploading videos of my travel to my destination once I get there, and then I'm going to be doing a bunch of more videos down there. Um, so there, there'll be a whole bunch of videos, so make sure you smash that subscribe button make sure you uh you know make sure you you ring the bell so that you're going to get notified when i upload videos okay so thank you for watching i appreciate it have a wonderful day